the UCW, as a company in which the NUMSA Investment Company has shares, UCW is not an orig original equipment manufacturer. They bid with other international original equipment manufacturers and unfortunately they did not, or rather the original equipment manufacturer did not win the tender. For them to turn around and say that we've got capacity here, we could have done this job alone, is just not true because they were themselves bidding with another OEM. Having said that, Last week, NUMSA marched to say, why are we buying locomotives from China, from Germany, and from America, and not building them in South Africa? I think they had forgotten that we had said only 70 of the locomotives will be built outside South Africa. The rest will be built in South Africa with supplier development, uh, with localization, companies like UCW, are welcome to tender to do work. In fact, UCW has tendered to do work with two of the original equipment manufacturers, and they have um, they have won tenders in terms of this program. We've invited all the South African suppliers that are in the rail industry. We've said, guys, here is the uh, <coughs> thousand locomotives that need to be built. Uh, we will help you to negotiate with the original equipment manufacturers about the things that you can do. And a lot of engineering firms have come to the party. In short, UCW is about to retrench because of management and mismanagement and not because there's no bread on the table. We have put bread on the table. They can come to the party. There is a lot of work. There is contracts that they can do. Uh, NUMSA marched and their demands are that <coughs> we should have bought the locomotives from South Africa. And as I said, it's a preposterous demand because there is no original equipment manufacturer in South Africa. And we think that the arrangement that we have made is the best arrangement. 